<laughs> Hi, welcome back to Adventures with the Hudsons. I'm Beth. And I'm Jim. He's being a nut again, guys. Sorry. Um, what we want to tell you is what you're getting ready to see in this video is our second unit that we purchased at Rocket Ages Storage Unit in Drexel, Ohio. So you've seen the first one. Now this is the second. And we found some really nice vintage pieces. So Jim, what do you want to share with our viewers? Well, I want to share all of our videos with you. And the way you do that, you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and hit the all bell when it comes up. So you can get all of our new videos. And I want, I'd like you guys to share and put the thumbs up. So again, thank you for watching. We really appreciate each and every one of you. So enjoy this video. And we'll see you soon. Mm, love you. Love you. Bye. All right, Jim, what are you up to? Ready to open this up, see what we got. Well, this is his purchase. Craftsman mower. What is in that? Clothes. clothes. Baby clothes. What we're going to do is we're kind of short on time. But we're going to load this. See how much we can I get out. Be somewhere. Yeah, we have to be somewhere to meet someone. I didn't see that little refrigerator, Jim. I think we got one in another one, too. Still unloading the trailer at the storage unit. And this is a nice little corner shelf for a kitchen that Jim has put together and taken pictures. And this would be, I would say, an entrance table or a little table beside a couch. It could be a telephone table back in the day that we had landlines. And then he found, or we got a... Um, an end table and you know it is solid wood we're back at the storage unit or at the storage unit and we are starting to unload the trailer and this is a military I don't know if it's military it but is it's military because if you look at the address that it was sent to Wright Patterson Air, Air Force, Force Base, Base yeah. I don't want to get too much on that because it gives a person's name. So it was sent to Wright Patterson Air Force Base and it was a next day UPS Air. And this is what they have in it. Um, Drain, is that purple. eel broken since it's all unwound? No, I don't know. Because that's what that is, isn't it? Block file. Oh, I thought that eel was attached to that block. Mm -hmm. You see, you got some clamps. And this is close to the Ryobi trimmer that's. Oh, that you have over there somewhere, or wherever it's at. Yeah, my question was all that. What is that? That white? That is the eel that you lay out. And you run down a line and you crank it with that little handle right there. That red thing? Yeah, no. No. That oh, that's a handle. That's a handle. All right, so wow, we didn't find any military stuff, but we got the military case. Yeah. It's got a mower, which is a craftsman, and he didn't realize until he pulled it out that it does need two front tires. So we're going to try to sell that before winter totally hits. And then a Scott spreader and some tools laying over here. We got this little craftsman toolbox in one of the um, units that we bought yesterday afternoon. And it is a craftsman's evolve. This opens up. And it even has all the paperwork that came with it when it was purchased. Now we moved most of the tools to this drawer. Um, looking at these, I'm not sure task force I think is what their, their brand says but it's got all these tools that Jim will part out and sell it's one of the things he really likes to do this says it is allied I don't know anything about tools so he'll place those or piece them out and sell them now we've emptied all those drawers but down here 
is a black and pepper circular saw. Um, there's a ratchet strap, some shims. This looks like some kind of scraper. There's a scraper. Crowbar. Is that what this is? Mm -hmm. Crowbar. Jim's being noisy in the background. Sorry. Um, what does this go to? Uh, vacuum so you can put this down in the water. Oh, I got you. And a little bit of Penn's oil, outdoor multi purpose oil, two cycle oil. So that's it. So he will be putting this little toolbox on Facebook Marketplace. This is one of the items that we found in the unit, and I don't know if it's an antique. We can't find any markings on it. it you know, it is older, and I call it a buffet or a sideboard, and it needs to be refinished. I think that it would make someone a pretty nice piece of furniture once they refinish it. So you've got two side compartments on it that you have both sides, and then two drawers. You know, just nice to have for your, if people still have special silverware for um, when they have Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners. So I think this would be beautiful if someone would buy it and refinish it. So this was found in the unit and wait till we show you the stereo that we found. We're still busy um, unloading the unit number two and going through everything. And I wanted to show you a few things that we have found. This is a shoe rack. It's got three layers or three shelves to store your shoes. Isn't that something? And then you can turn it to get to your shoes. Um, I get in trouble with that. I could fill two or three of those. But here is a little pull behind a Sesame Street jump shot score and look at it they can go away to grandma's house found three um, new christmas stockings so we'll take those to the flea market now someone must have been hannah montana fan it's been several years since hannah montana has been popular quite a few years so i don't even know that our granddaughters granddaughter would know who hannah montana was and we did find one nine volt battery uh um always comes in handy a Kroger alkaline battery now look at these they look in pretty good shape they just need to be cleaned and they are Crocs and they are a size 11 as you can see a little bit of bath and those would be fine I can put those in the tub and scrub them there's a little basket and there is a curling iron effect flat iron and it says wet to straight so I don't know if that means you can do your wet hair, that kind of would be scary to me. And um, it's a Remington, a little serving plate. Now, the outside of this has a dirt on it, but the inside's fine. Guess what that is? That is a hot water bottle inside a pink heart. So that protects it. Been years since I've seen a hot water bottle. Now these little plates, um, they say Japan on them. So I do want to look those up. There are four of them, and they are all a different print. Now this one does have a little chip right there, so I don't know if that, I'm sure that decreases the value. Now this is a Samsung Galaxy S4, and it's only the box. It's empty, so I don't know if the box is worth anything. And we did find this, and I probably will take it to the flea market because it is a Ninja, a drink pitcher that actually would attach to the blender part of your Ninja blender. Um, so maybe someone would like to add to their, their blender system that they have. And again, here are some other old um, little plates that do say Japan. So I don't know, again, if they would be worth anything. They are all the same print. There were some dishes, and it's not the set. It is just some Christmas dishes, and it's not what the box says. The box says canisters. Well, it's not canisters. A couple of the plates have chips. I'm going to take this to Goodwill and donate it because they can get it to someone that can use it. And look, a Ninja Turtle hat. 
and here's a book, Earl Stanley Gardner, The Case of the Moth-Eaten Mint. Mink? Mink? I don't know if that's mildew on it or what. It looks old, so I'm going to check that out. Reader's Digest, um, The Family Handyman, Helpful Hints. We'll take that and sell it at the flea market. I've loaded the table again. Um, this little container is full of some tools, so maybe it was a kitchen tool kit that they had because I know you know everyone's got to have a junk drawer in their kitchen except for I don't because I don't have enough drawers in my kitchen um, this I think is for DVDs if you know if it's something different than DVDs let me know um, I think I saw something like this on Locker Nuts channel so if you haven't subscribed to Locker Nuts go check them out here's a blood pressure cuff and it says medline something artery don't ask me how to say that word I am not a medical person so I wouldn't know so we found a box of solar lights I've gone through the box and there are six of these but as far as the post there are five and all of the little covers which let me dig these I have enough to there's eight of these but I can make five solar lights out of this that would be perfect for next year up at the camper so kind of sad the campers closed up for the winter and all winterize but we'll put that up for next year because we always like to have some solar light lighting outside especially if you're out at nighttime at a fire and you can see to get back in I don't know really what this little metal um container is something decorative I guess you can make a flower arrangement out of it it still has part of the tag on it from when it was purchased there is an oil lamp here I don't know if that's old that will be kept to check out we will not take that to the flea market until we do some research on it I remember my mom having oil lamps that she would have displayed um, this will go to be sold because we do not have a wood-burning fireplace. I don't know anything about these creosote sweeping logs or to burn them in your fireplace. I have no idea. Years and years ago, we always would have our chimney swept and cleaned. Now, here's a fire starters. We can use those this next year at the camper. And here, I've never seen or know what this is. It's called Ignito Fire Starter. So I don't know what that is. Never seen it. So, maybe he'll save them till next year and we'll take them to the lake with us. Now, how long has it been since you've seen these discs? I know we don't have a computer with these disc drives, so I really don't know what to do with these. I don't know if they would sell. Maybe we'll take them to the flea market. So if anyone knows, if anyone still uses these, let us know. Leave a comment. Here's a little serving tray, dish, whatever you want to call it, with a lid. So that too will go to the flea market. We were hoping to do that this coming weekend, but guess what? Ah, rain. And we did find an RCA VHS player. We do want to check this out and make sure it works. Then we will look up to see what the value of this is. And we have so many VHS tapes, maybe it would be handy to keep it around just to check our tapes. So I'll be showing you some more here in just a minute. We've got a set of two DVD holders. And I don't really know if people use these anymore, but these are kind of neat. You know, they're a different shape. They've got a nice weaving, so we'll see. We'll take them to the flea market or Jim can put them on the marketplace. I don't know what all these wires are. This is filled with wires. So we try to keep these until we're done going through the unit because you just never know. You throw a wire away and you're like, oh no, why'd I do that? And this has something to do with the uh, um, auto air conditioning and recharging of your air conditioning. I don't know if they're nozzles that they attach. So now we have a box of light bulbs. We'll probably just sell it as the box. And then we have one of a bigger light bulb. And then I found a couple candles, so we'll take those to the flea market. 
And some of these um, votive candles that are scented, um, citrus amber and apple ginger. So I'll take those to the flea market. A little basket, a couple little bags right here. And this one, it's a bath bag. And there's a bag of kitchen utensils. We'll put those out for 50 cents a piece. But um, I gotta show you this soft serve ice cream maker. It says in less than 10 minutes. I'm going to tell you what I like my Cuisinart and this you have to stand and do this I'm making you dizzy to wait for your ice cream by the time you get your ice cream made You're gonna be so hungry. You're gonna eat it all So and then they must have got sick of cranking their own ice cream that they went out and bought an ice cream maker That has a motor and this one is a Sunbeam everything is here it says it makes four quarts you use your um, rock salt and ice and so I wanted to show you it's a sunbeam and I've already told you that but there everything is in there and then you have your motor to go on top so they must have got sick of cranking so here's a picture frame which is brand new that's probably worth a couple bucks at the flea market so one two dollars hey better in my pocket hey hey Randy what were you doing earlier where were you I was hiding Put stuff on my marketplace so I can make some money so I can buy more. So hey, look, that I got a. looks kind of torn up. It's torn up, but it's Nintendo, Nintendo 3DS. 3DS, wow. And what I got a dragon, that? and it's a part or love machine. But that was someone's Valentine gift yeah. one year. It's got tags on it, so it's it got a dead battery. Well, we'll take that home and check out the batteries. How's that? What do you got there? Goosebumps. Is it a movie? Yeah, scary movie. You won't watch it with me. I don't think Goosebumps is a scary movie. It's a scary oh, movie. Oh, it does say. Scary, scary movie. House. Nope, you can go watch that in the living room. Bottle opener with a magnet. And, and a vase with, with a love. love. Probably another Valentine's gift. Battery two battery up, uh, yeah, t two of them, all tangled up. Wow. Got a bunch of candles. Some of those candles still have the cellophane on them, don't They're they? They're still all brand new, family dollar, two for a dollar. You got some cups? Got some cups and a oh, hanger. And a rack to hold them on. So are those apples on them? Yep. Got we four of them, and what else is there? Take here? those to the flea market, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, that's a um, a wax burner, a tart burner. Tart burner. But Love you to the moon and back. Yeah. But, but you can barely read barely it. Barely read it. All right. Well, we're gonna pack this up, and we'll show you the next. Oh, you got an over full container here. What you got? Mm -hmm. Got Minnie Mouse. Oh, Minnie, Minnie has tags on her. Minnie has tags on her, oh, well, and she, it's a Disney. She can go home and get sold online. Yeah. She got a little bit on her leg here, but I can get her clean. Somebody made a bracelet with. Isn't that Ariel? Isn't that Little Mermaid? Uh, yes, yeah, that's prince. Little Mermaid. Then that's a princess. Oh, is that Cinderella? I don't know. Wow, well, we have a couple little granddaughters that would. Another direct that. TV mode. Serving spoons. Well, what is that in them serving spoons? Corn pipe. You got a corn cob pipe there. Mm-hmm. Well, let's show it to Never them. been used. Here. You guys see this? Look how tiny it is. Never seen a pipe so tiny. And that is a nice set of serving utensils. You know, that's worth a couple bucks at the flea market. So what's that? It's an NSA. 50C. Oh, so what does that mean? I don't know. Oh, it's come from the water filter. There's a line here. Yeah, that's what it oh, is. the owner's manual. What's it say? Water filter. Huh. I guess put your water in there and... No, it's probably like at the lake that you connect both ends. Or no, maybe it's an osmosis. I know you have to read the owner's manual, won't you? Yeah, I'll have that to figure that out. That might be helpful. Nope. 
Nate reading? You know, men I don't. I can't read. Men don't read owner's manuals, do Only they? Only they got pictures in them. <laughs> oh, Vacuum bags. Space bags to store stuff in. And some of the clothes that Another we did drag. get out of this unit were in those space bags, but they let loose. We'll get that in a minute. All right. What do you got there? Put it down to my level. 30 pink. pink. Perfume. Perfume. Jim, is that your flavor? Nope. Can you wear that? Is that your cologne? Got a cherry purse. A cherry bag. Oh gosh, you're getting into all kinds of stuff there. Cocking gun? Mm hmm. Is that good cock? Has it been open? It's been open. No, yeah, it is. Alright, we can take that out. We got a trash can here at the storage unit. What is that? Zapper bugs. Hang that up the lake. We'll go hang it up the lake. Zap the bugs all year. <laughs> you gonna make a three hour drive to hang that? Not tonight. You got a tablecloth? Yep. What size is it? Uh, 52 by 90. Well, I'm here you go. That. It's what you asked me about the other day. You needed some more some weights. weights. I've got weights. I just hit them for you. <clears throat> I don't want you. Some lotion. Index lotion. cards. You're not showing me stuff. Mm. Party favors. I Carly party favors. Oh, the granddaughters will love those. What is that? Sudden suds. Oh, it's your sponge Monster. already with the soap in it? Yep. Well, it's going to rain all day tomorrow, so I don't think we need to, um, wow, a lot of belts. A lot of belts. Put those a couple out for, bucks. I'd say a dollar a piece. We're going to have a dollar sale. We're going to see what our flea, mark thinks, flea market thinks about a dollar sale. You know, how many of these lights do we have? 20 of them. Then we got a bunch of books. Okay, what's the hose? Merry oh, Christmas, Merry Mickey. Christmas. That's a baby Minnie and Mickey. Those are can or um, napkin rings. Are there a set of four? Set of four. Oh, his phone's ringing. They want to buy something. Helper had to leave me. Um, his phone rang. Someone's going to come over and buy something. So here's some Planet Spa Rose Clay Body Cleanser. So that must be like for in the shower. And this is all a bunch of kids books. And I know I showed you this one already. So I'm gonna keep pulling them out. Cat Dog Catcher. Dr. Seuss, one fish, two fish. Red fish, blue fish. The Lion King Disney book. Here is the Powerpuff Girls. It's a coloring book. And it is from the dollar store. It has been colored in, but not a whole lot. That'd be nice to have when the grandkids come visit. Keep them entertained. Oh, well, here's a brand new um, Sesame Street puzzle. And I've got something sticky sticking to the back of it. And that was what I want to be when I grow up. I'll show you a few more, and I won't bore you with books. Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. Had all of these when the kids were little. Should have kept them all. The Bernstein Bears. And this is an activity book. I'll have to look at that. Oh, here's some Winnie the Pooh. We have our ninth grandchild on the way. And they're doing the room in Winnie the Pooh. Look at that. That is a CD, includes four stories and voice with character voices in eight rhymes. Oh, I see more Dr. Seuss. Fox and Socks. Oh, I got the cat and the hat. I'm going to have to check the dates on these, but they look awful new. And there's the Real Mother Goose Classic Animal Rhymes. All right, well, that's pretty much that. Uh, you got Big Bird, I saw the fox already, and the Little Red Hen. Man, do I remember a lot of these. So that will do it for this container. Good finds. You came back. I'm back. I made some money. 
and you'll see what he sold in a later video. So what you got in that sack that you said we had to wait till later? We have some noisy trucks work, working behind us somewhere. They're building a new Kroger. Oh, that's a new Kroger they're building. Oh, you're able to get it untied? That's impressive. I didn't think you'd do to get that. I thought you'd have to rip the bag. What do you yeah. got? What do you got? Uh, oh! Oh, what is that? Valentine's with pencils. 14 Valentine's with pencils. With pencils. Oh my gosh. Pencils. Grandkids, grandkids, grandkids. Frozen. And what I throw in the... And another fruit. My oh, little pony. Little mermaid. Little mermaid. Never mm -hmm. seen Valentine's with pencils. And either two Spider-Mans and two little mer or uh, oh, my little how mer cute. Or my we're little taking those pony. home. Gotta give them to the grandkids. Well, we're still unloading and working on this unit, but um, this cabinet has stayed. It's staying in the trailer right now, so he can work on it at the house since the trailer's home with us. But look at this. Look at this. RCA stereo and yeah that's an eight track player look at that and it works now the eight track is not working but the stereo is and here's your turntable he's got to I think work on getting that level but it even came with an extra needle so I remember a stereo like this growing up so I'm gonna show my age that's in the 70s so look, you can play 33s, 45s, and 78s on this turntable. So the front, each side is a speaker. I just think this is really, really neat. I haven't seen one of these for years. I remember a friend, they had one like this. I don't know if it had an eight track player, but it was the turntable. So I think this is a pretty cool vintage find out of this unit at the Rock of Ages storage unit in Drexel. Where are we at? We're Goodwill. Getting ready to get rid of most of this. All of this is being donated to Goodwill. It is mostly all clothing. Um, so we're gonna have an empty trailer again. You my guy, she filled up this big trailer and we're getting ready to go unload another one. So we'll let you know what yeah, it looks like after, after we unload.